Um, and Ronaldo and Messi. Now, this is a debate that everyone says now. Yes, my peoples, it's T. And today, I'm here with a slightly different video to what I've normally done before in the past. And I'm going to do a tier list of the best football players in the world. So this is strictly my opinion and my thoughts. So get at me in the comments if you don't agree or if you agree or you disagree or if you think somebody should be high on the list or somebody should be below on the list or where they should be. So without further ado, let's get it. Let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rank, we're going to rank these players in order of normal players, good players, so good, best and goat. Now, I probably should put a category here that also says trash. I'm going to be honest, but I won't be that mean to the players. So I'm going to just keep it on this scale for now. So we're going to start off lightly. Sergio Aguero. Where do I rank Sergio Aguero? Now, he played for Man City, a team who I do not like. Um, so that has a contributing factor. But I'm going to try and be a little bit unbiased in my opinions here. Um, I think the way how he was so clinical so effective so efficient low center of gravity lots of speed lots of um, aggression lots of you know silky tricky feet and able to score from anywhere headers outside the box inside the box everything he's definitely up up there as one of the best in my opinion um best so i'm gonna get him and place him in best that is my thoughts that's my thoughts there um okay harry kane um Yes, Harry Kane, he is one of the world's best strikers currently as we speak. Um, his records speak for themselves. Um, do I like his gameplay? Um, as he's matured, I think he's gotten better at link-up play and being able to actually assist the players more. Um, but ultimately, if he gets the ball, he can bang. He will finish. He'll put it in. Um, so Harry Kane, also, in my opinion, one of the best one of the best. Oh, oh, old back, old black, old black. Yo, I got a feeling I'm gonna be embarrassed here and not know some, not know all these players. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually might skip some players, but old black for Atletico Madrid. And now at one point he was, I was like, yo, this keeper is serious, but he's had a wobbly, wobbly couple of years at, at Atletico. Um, so I'm gonna put him as. Is is so good. It like is so good, but not quite up to the levels that I would, you know, kind of, you know, expect from a goalkeeper consistently. Um, Sergio Ramos. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip him. I'm gonna go straight to Sergio Ramos. Um, yeah. So for me, listen. I don't care. He's a goat. He's a goat. He is a goat. Oh, actually, I may change that actually, because he hasn't really played in a lot of different countries, a lot of different leagues. To be fair, uh, it's a sticky one, because I like to people who I think are goats. I like to, you know, to see them test themselves in a number of different leagues, number of different countries, different scenarios. Yes, he's playing in the French league now, but he was already 35, 34, um, and. It's the French League. <laughs> I could play in the French League probably. So um, no offence to anyone who's watching. I know I have some, some viewers from France. Um, so yeah, he's not a GOAT. He's not a GOAT, but he's an incredible defender. Like he's one, you know, I'm keeping, no, I'm keeping him there. He's a GOAT. Literally his all round play, incredibly. He, in his heyday, he had every single attribute you could think of as a defender. He could score goals. He could defend aggression, everything. Like he had it all. He had it all. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. So I'm going to keep him in GOAT. Next up, we have Lionel or Lionel Messi. No discussion, really. Instant GOAT. Now, he hasn't played in another league other than Spain. And again, I'm not counting for the French league in Spain. So I don't know how good he will be in the Premier League or Italian League or, you know, German League, any, any other top league. Um, but he's done it. He's got all the records and now he has a World Cup to add to, it, to his name. So he's done it all. He is literally one of the greatest of all times. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, don't need much discussion there as well. He's done it in every single league he's played in. Multiple leagues, multiple records broken. The highest goal-scoring um, footballer of all time. 
and he's still playing. Um, and it's broken so many records. Um, both him and Messi have shared the stage of, of being being goats of our generation. And we're actually blessed and lucky to be alive to see to see this um, this 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 battle. I wonder if I wonder when the next one will be and who will be the, the goats of of the next generation. Because right now I don't think we we have we have that battle yet. We don't, like we don't have any goats at the moment now left. If that makes sense. As in these guys are starting to get old. 35, 38. And they're not saying the same player they once were, but um, yeah, they're still goats in their own right. But I want to see some new goats created. I thought I thought the baton may have been continued by Neymar at some point, but he fell off. Mbappe may come into that category, but he's not there yet. Um, Harlan is great, but again, not there yet. So I don't know. I don't know. Do let me know in the comments actually what you think. Who is the who are the new potential goats of this generation? Because to be fair, from the age of early 20s and Messi and Ronaldo were already almost at that goal status doing crazy things so yeah I don't know I don't know um next David De Gea um for me David De Gea has been an incredible goalkeeper for Man United and Atletico to be fair for a very long time he joined United at 18 years old and um, he's been at United now for over 10 years and he's just been yes he had a couple of wobbly seasons and yes he's not your new age goalkeeper that can pl pass it out from the back and do great like Allison and Edison and those those type of players but his shot stopping world class still probably one of the best at shot stopping so um for me not a goat but is one of the best is one of the best for me um Eden Hazard <laughs> Eden Hazard in his heyday Unstoppable for Chelsea. On those two years at Chelsea, the last two years before he left, unstoppable. Um, put him in best. At Real Madrid, he fell off, fell off, fell off. Modric, goat. He's thirty-eight, still going, still quality, still fast. He's still got it all. I don't know. I don't know how he's doing this. He's he's, he's defined objects of physics. Um, I think he's a goat. Obviously, there should be two goat levels. Obviously, not on the goat level of of Messi and Ronaldo, but probably the goat level of, of Ramos, where you know. Up there, up there, one of the greatest of all times in his position. Maybe I'm actually over, over, over ranking um, these two, to be fair. Ramos and, and Modric, I don't know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is it for now. So, I am going to go into a few more players and then we may do a part two. But I'm going to do a few more players and then, we, and then I may do a part two on this if you guys like this video. Um, so, Son, 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 Son for Tottenham. You know what? He's going straight into so good. It's, uh, maybe good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Um, yeah, he's good. I'm going to give him good. He's Yeah, he's very effective and he plays for Tottenham. Um, good. Navas, normal. Normal. Paul Pogba, I thought he was going to be one of the best players, the best midfielders in the world. Always injured. Not consistent. Um, I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to put him in normal. He's for me. He's like probably in the middle between good and normal. Um, let's put him in good. Let's put him in good. He's good. Kylian Mbappe. Ooh. So he's not been doing this long enough for me to put him in, in goat yet. Definitely not. But he's definitely one of the best already at his young tender age. Quality player. Lewandowski. Um, He's one of the best as well. Not quite goat level, um, but one of the best. He's 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 consistent. He gets the numbers and he does his job essentially. Even that is at 34, 35 now, he's still scoring goals for Barcelona as well. Um, Mane, let's do let's do a few a few more. Mane, so good, so good. I, I want to say he's the best. Now you could you could you could kind of argue that he's one of the best because since he's left Liverpool. Liverpool, I'm not saying it's all his fault, but Liverpool have crumbled a lot this season. And I think a large part of that is because Mane had created that balance right there on that left-hand side, at, you know, for Liverpool's front three. But, yeah, he's so good. He's so good. Um, and you know what? I'm going to do maybe maybe four more. I'm going to do four more of these. Um, four more of these. And essentially... Uh, yeah, let's do let's do let's do four more of these, four more. Um, all right. So, Marco Royce, 
Um, he's good. He's, be, he's being consistent at Dortmund. I mean, yeah, Dortmund hasn't left Dortmund. Um, good player. Lots of injuries, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, normal. He's normal. He's normal. Too much injuries. Haven't seen enough of him performing consistently well to be put in the in the you know good category, in my opinion. Varane, he's one of the best centre backs in the world. One of the best centre backs in the world, in my opinion. Absolutely quality player. Quality player. Um, and he kind of goes unnoticed because he's literally such, he's such a Rolls Royce, and he does his job so efficiently. You don't even recognize he's doing it at times. He's, he goes under the radar at times, but he's quality. Like when he's not there, it's a big miss. Um, Van Dyke having a poor three seasons, but I would say he's one of the best as well. Um, and I'm going to order these, and and, and Neymar um, is one of the best. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to order these as well individually. So um, Royce higher than 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 um than yeah Navas Son I would say he's higher than Paul Pogba just based on consistency in my opinion. Um Mane definitely better than um O Black in my opinion. Now the GOATs <laughs> oh this is a sticky one. I'll do the best later but the, the GOATs is a sticky one. Um, for me, Ramos probably more of a goat than more of a goat than Luka Modric um, and Ronaldo and Messi. Now this is a debate that everyone says. Now I know I put Messi higher than Ronaldo here, but that's only because Messi has a World Cup as well. Um, that's only that's the only reason why, and he's still doing it. Uh, Ronaldo's kind of tailed off right now. I'm just doing it on currently, currently right now. Right now, even though Messi's been shocking this season as well. Um, now, the best category. Um, Mbappe, top of that straight away. Top of that straight away. This is, this is overall now. Um, Lewandowski, I would say, if I had to choose a striker, Aguero in his prime, I would choose him over Lewandowski. Kane, next. Ooh. Um, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. In their position, actually, no, I have to do do overhaul just just to just to make it fair. Um, Hazard, yes, for sure. Hazard's up there. Prime, prime Neymar. Prime Neymar above Lundaski for me. Eden Hazard up there. Varane for me. Over. Yep, yeah, that's that is. That's probably where I put. That's probably where you know just because he plays for Liverpool, the hair can go, can go higher there. Um, and that is my tier list. Now this is gonna be this is gonna be very contentious. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you, if I think if you think I should move some players around, um, or or what, um, or if you disagree or agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want a part two to this, or you want you know these kind of videos quite similar to this, but different categories, let me know as well. But yeah, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that jazz. Peace. <laughs>